We are learning more about the arrest of Grammy-winning rapper Lil Durk on murder for hire charges. We want to begin now with some breaking news. Rapper Lil Durk is charged in a murder for hire plot. Lil Grammy award-winning Chicago rapper Lil Durk is facing new charges. Welcome in everybody to the deep dive. Today we're going deep into the world of Lil Durk. Lil Durk and his crew. OTF. Only the family. We're going to be unpacking a YouTube video that covers a lot of ground. Yeah. It really does. So, Lil Durk's rise to fame. Uh, this feud with Quando Rondo. Right. And we've even got allegations of an insider turning informant. Yeah, deep, deep rabbit hole. Yeah, and our goal today is to pull out some of the most interesting threads for you, the listener. Absolutely. When you think about Chicago, it's a different type of, it's a different world, man. Especially yeah. when it comes to the rap scene. Talking about Chicago, a place where uh, making it out often feels impossible. And here comes Lil Durk, rising to fame from that very environment. And that's what makes it so powerful, right? He embodies this hope. Oh, absolutely. You know, this success story that everyone in that community can look to and say like, yo, if he can do it, I can do it, you yeah. know? Yeah. And OTF becomes like, almost like an extension of that, you know, this uh, support system, right. a family uh -huh. built on this shared experience of navigating poverty, gangs, and violence. It's like they're saying, you know, we got to rely on each other because the system is not built for us. 100%. And yeah. that's why this idea of loyalty is paramount. Yeah. You know, it's not just a moral principle. It's a survival tactic, man. Right. Because in this world, your crew can literally mean the difference between life or death. And that brings us to loyalty being tested. Yeah. That brings us to the feud that's at the heart of this whole deep dive. Lil Durk versus Quando Rondo. Now, rap beefs are nothing new. Of course not. It's part of the uh, it's part of the game. It's part of the game. Yeah. But this one, uh, this one goes deeper. Much deeper. Yeah, because this one is fueled by the death of King Vaughn, one of Dirk's closest friends. Allegedly at the hands of someone connected to Quando Rondo. Exactly. <laughs> you know, so that adds like another layer to it. It's like a switch flipped after that. Right. We see like you know we see diss tracks flying back and forth. <laughs> You know, Dirk using his influence to like shut down Quando Rondo's shows. Shut him down, cut off the income. Yeah, cutting off his income and exposure. Yeah, yeah a power move. And then comes this bombshell. This is where it gets juicy. Yeah, OTF Jam, longtime member of Dirk's inner circle, is now cooperating with the authorities. Oh man, betrayal. With like a gut punch, right? It really is because he was supposed to be family. Exactly. Family yeah. inner circle. Yeah. Like and this is where it gets really fascinating because yeah. OTF Jam, he's not just talking to the feds. Right. He's allegedly providing evidence they could directly link Lil Dirk to the LA shooting where Quando Rondo's friend, LA Capone, was killed. And the implications are huge. Huge. We're talking about potential RICO charges. RICO, yeah. Racketeering, conspiracy. This is serious stuff. This isn't just a slap on the wrist. This could be the end of Lil Durk's career, maybe even his freedom. Yeah, his freedom, everything. It's a heavy stuff, man. Yeah, I mean, well, like you said, RICO charges. Yeah, this is that's that's big time. It's organized crime. Yeah, yeah. And so they're really going to be trying to paint OTF yeah. as this criminal enterprise. Not just a music group. Not just a music label. And that's where OTF Jam really comes into play. Yeah, his testimony becomes crucial. It's crucial. For the prosecution. Yeah, because he's the inside man, right? He's the one who can connect the dots. Yeah. He's the one who can say, yo, this is what Lil Durk was really talking about in his lyrics. Uh -huh. You know, this is what he was really doing. Yeah, so it's like... He's going to try to link, you know, the music to the man. Yeah, the public persona to the alleged criminal activities. Yeah, it's going to be fascinating to see how this all plays out legally speaking speaking. Yeah, well, I'm sure Dirk's lawyers are going to try to discredit OTF Jam. Oh, absolutely. You know, paint him as an unreliable witness. They're going to say he's lying. He's just trying to save himself, you know. It makes you wonder, you know, yeah, yeah, like, like what, this is true. what's the truth? What went through his mind? Was it was it pure survival instinct? Was he scared? Yeah. Was he threatened? Or or was it resentment? Right. Was there like some some you know, feeling of being used or abandoned by the crew he once considered family. That's the question, right? Yeah. Because, I mean, we all know loyalty runs deep. Uh -huh. But when your own freedom's on the line, right. it's like, what do you do? 
Tough choices, man. Tough choices. And it's easy for us to sit here and, and, and judge. Right. We're on the outside looking in. Yeah. But we haven't walked in his shoes. Right. You know, we haven't felt that pressure. The weight of... The fear, the violence, you know, all those factors that can that can lead to... Lead someone to make a desperate choice. Yeah, absolutely. And this whole thing, it's going to have a huge impact. On the entire movement. On OTF. As a movement. They represent something bigger than just music. They're a symbol of hope, of resilience. Right. It's a real tragedy. It is. Because Lil Durk, despite the fame, the fortune, right. he's still trapped. Still trapped. In this cycle. In the cycle of violence, of yes. criminalization. It's yeah. like... He's achieved so much, yeah. but it... It might not be enough to save him. It might not be enough. Yeah. And it really makes you think about the bigger picture, you know? It does. The systemic forces at play. Yeah, like, and it's a reminder that justice it's not always so black and white, you know? Right. Especially for those coming from marginalized communities. Yeah. The legal system, even though it claims to be fair, it's not always. Yeah, it doesn't always operate that way. It operates within a framework that that often perpetuates these inequalities. Yeah, and we see that reflected in how this case is being framed. Uh -huh. You know, how the media portrays Lil Durk and OTF. Absolutely, there's definitely bias there. Yeah. And that bias could... Even influence the outcome. Yeah, it could easily influence the outcome of the trial. Of the trial, yeah. For, for Lil Durk and OTF, music isn't just entertainment. It's their voice. Yeah, it's a form of expression. It's how they process their trauma, their struggles, their triumphs. And their lyrics, man. Their lyrics reflect that, you know? Absolutely. The harsh realities of their environment. It's not just the beats. It's the authenticity. It's the rhyme. Yeah, it's the feeling that they're speaking from a place of lived experience. Uh -huh. A place that so many people, especially in marginalized communities, can relate to. They're giving a voice. It makes this whole situation and even more heartbreaking. Even more heartbreaking. Yeah. Because it's not just about one rapper or one crew. Right. It's about silencing a voice. A voice that represents so much. The potential dismantling. Of a movement. Of a movement. That represents hope and resilience. Yeah, for so For a whole community, for a whole generation. It's, it's, it's bigger than just Lil Durk. It is. It's about what he represents, yeah. or OTF represents. It really does make you think like- It does. Can, even if he beats these charges, right. can he try truly escape the shadow of this. Will people still see him the same way? Will OTF be able to continue to thrive under this weight? Under the scrutiny, the suspicion. Yeah, it's a huge question mark. It is. It's a question that only time will answer. But for now. Yeah, for now. There's a lot of uncertainty. Yeah, look, like the future of Lil Durk, OTF, the community they represent. Yeah, it's all hanging in the balance. It's hanging in the balance. Yeah, it feels like uh, two different worlds colliding. It does, right? You know, the world Little Dirt comes from with, with its own set of rules. Uh-huh. Its own code, its own, like, survival mechanisms. Right. And then... And then the legal system. The legal system. Where that code is often, uh... Criminalized. Well, criminalized. You know, what's what's survival in one world is a crime in another. Right. And it's like... And caught in the middle. OTF. You know, you have this young man rises from poverty, achieves fame and fortune, mm -hmm. and then finds himself tangled up, entangled in the system that seems determined to bring him down. Yeah, and it makes you wonder, yeah. can can success on this scale, Yeah, can it truly provide an escape? From the systemic forces. From those forces that shape your life. That's the question. Yeah, is it, is it ever really possible to outrun where you came from? I mean, that's, that's what makes Lil Durk's story so compelling, right? Yeah. It challenges that whole narrative of like... Of, of bootstrap, pull yourself up. Yeah, individual triumph over adversity. You because can. even when you reach the pop, the past can still come back to haunt you. Right. The system can still find ways to pull you back down. And and it seems like almost once you achieve that success, yeah. the rules. The rules change. The yeah. scrutiny intensifies. Yeah. The stakes are higher. There's every misstep. Heavy. Any consequences. Devastating consequences. And... And especially for somebody like Lil Durk. Right. Who's always repped his community. His crew. His crew. His city. This case becomes about more than just him. Yeah. It's about... It's about OTF. The future of OTF. The impact it's going to have on all the people who look up to him. Who see him as a symbol of hope. So we're... What about the lessons for us, the listeners? Mm -hmm. You know, what can we take away from all of this? I think the biggest takeaway is just understanding the complexities of this world. Yeah. You know, the complexities of loyalty, betrayal, survival. In a world where... In a world where the rules are often stacked against those who need them the most. Yeah, food for thought, for sure. Absolutely.
Well, we hope this deep dive has given you some of that, some new perspectives to consider as this story continues to unfold. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, everybody.